Sitting on the dock of the bay. What is going on, everybody? <laughs> welcome, welcome back to the channel. Of course, I hope that you're having a beautiful day, a wonderful day. Um, today we are doing my PO Box unboxing. Guys, <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot coming in. Your generosity has, like, it's always been very, very high. But, like, recently, <laughs> you guys have been, like, crazy. Yeah, like, seriously. I have this. I have another, <laughs> another stack right over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything that you guys have been sending over for, like, everything. Everything. And uh, I'm going to try and go through this a little quicker because last time I feel like I talked way too much and I was very slow getting through the packages. Um, but I am going to Ikea, actually, after filming this video so I can get uh, some more storage. <laughs> I'm going to go get more storage because you guys have forced my hand. <laughs> so... I'm going to I'm going to work on some shelving. The set might change slightly. Well, it will change. So, be on the lookout for that. Probably not going to build it today. I don't know. Maybe I will. We'll see. But seriously, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are absolutely lovely. Um, let's just get let's get into the first package and we'll work our way from there. Uh, the first one is from Marlton. So, Marlton, thank you so much. Let us give it an open here. I usually check my P.O. box once a week. I had to check it twice <laughs> twice this week. And the mailman just looked at me like, where's all this stuff coming from? <laughs> all right, so we have a book here. Um, maybe something else, but definitely a book. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what it is. And the reveal is the back. Let's go to the front. The Speed of Sound Thomas Dolby. Oh, that's actually really cool. A memoir. An NPR best book of the year. I love listening to NPR. Tom Dolby, The Speed of Sound. I feel like I'm not close enough to the camera today. By Thomas Dolby. This is really cool. I love the books that you guys have been sending, by the way. I'm trying to find more time, and time is a, a rare commodity sometimes. But I'm trying to find the time to sit down and kind of read through the books that you guys have sent me. Um... I'm just looking for, make sure that there's no other name, but Marlton, thank you so much for sending this over. Now, I'm assuming that this is about Mr. Dolby's life. It looks like it actually just, <laughs> just looking at the first few sentences I've kind of picked out. Yeah, this is really cool. Thank you so much. Thomas Dolby is a really interesting musician. He creates really cool music and as a producer, for example, with Prefab Sprout. Oh, that's magic. <laughs> So thank you so much, and I know I need to keep on going through uh, the album we're listening to, listening through with Mr. Dolby. I, ha I do have to go back through that, because I did listen to the songs we've already listened to on a car ride recently. So thank you so much, Marlton, for the book. The next package, no name on the front, so we'll just give it a little, little cut right here. Hope that you guys are having a beautiful day, though. Today it's Saturday. It's about 9 o'clock right now. And, um, like I said, I got an errand or two to run, and then from there, who knows what we'll do today. I actually have a, a clog in my washing machine I gotta fix. So, the, <laughs> moving to the next package, Andrew Bird, Noble Beast. I don't think I've ever heard of Andrew Bird. Andrew Bird, Noble Beast. And now, if I'm just taking a guess, looking at the album artwork and the track listing, I would imagine this is possibly folk-related. Maybe something in an indie kind of category. I'm not 100% sure. But it's, it was released in 2009. And then, uh, oh, by the way, this is from Quinn. I was holding the note looking for it. So, Quinn, thank you so much for the gifts here. And then the second album here is Bare Naked Ladies. Now, interestingly enough, I don't know. Can't say definitively. But I don't know if I know anything by the Bare Naked Ladies. I've heard of them. But I don't know if I know any songs from them. But of course, they have a name that gets attention, right? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just looking at the back, uh, at the track listing for this. I can't even tell you what album this is. Um, I, I, I see the word, but they're kind of like intermingled with the word, I believe. And I can't quite tell which album this is. Um, Gordon, I think it is. 
Yeah, I think it's Gordon. Now looking at the back, one of the tracks is called Brian Wilson. One is called Be My Yoko Ono. So <laughs> they have something something going on with the Beatles and the Beach Boys. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. So I, I literally know nothing about the Bare Naked Ladies. But Quinn, thank you so much for the two CDs. Man, I can't wait till I get my um, my storage. <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be easier to have everything organized and categorized because I am going to organize and categorize everything. So that way when I wanna pull something out and give it a listen, give it a whirl, we can go ahead and do that. Uh, the next package has no name on the front, but I will assume that we have a note in the back. Uh, let me, yeah, that's it here. So we have a CD. This is Catch Bull at Four. Oh, Cat Stevens. Okay, Cat Stevens, we've done a little bit from him. Uh, I believe the album is Tea for the Tillerman. And I'm sorry if I forgot that. I think that that's what it was called. I can't remember exactly. But I really, really enjoyed the music that we heard. But the music was blocked. And sometimes when the music is blocked, it makes me a little less inclined to listen to more. Just because, one, it's double the work for me. Because i got to edit the video and everything. Um, and upload it and all that stuff. But I really did like what we heard from... From Cat Stevens, and I believe he um, he converted to Islam and he changed his name to Yusuf, I think. But thank you so much because I really did enjoy what I heard from him, and I would like to listen to more. You know, like if the music was never originally blocked, I would immediately be listening to that probably that album. But as of right now, I'm, I just slowed down a little bit on it. Uh, and this is from Jill. So Jill, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's lovely. I really would like to listen to a little more Cat Stevens, though, because I really did enjoy what I heard, you know? It's just I don't want to put out a bunch of blocked videos. You know, I know people already don't enjoy the ones that are silenced, you know, when I do Beatles or King Crimson. Even though I put the link to Patreon right there and it's easily available. But And I understand, because I don't like to put out a bunch of blocked videos, you know? So I, I, I will definitely explore more of Cat Stevens in the future, though. Um, this next package, let's see. This is from Ed. Ed, appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to say thank you, of course, <laughs> to everybody. I mean, Mama didn't raise no unthankful kid. <laughs> but you guys are, are generous because, I mean, obviously because of what you've shown me and what you've done. But you're, you're taking time, you're taking money, you're taking things from yourself and and sharing that with me and i know that's obvious but it, it may it's it means a lot to me i guess just to put it succinctly okay so ed has sent over two cds uh let me turn them let's see if we can get a reveal together the first cd is the christians features three extra tracks uh now i mean i've heard of christians <laughs> But I haven't heard of the band <laughs> named The Christians. Now, do they make music that is Christian rock or anything like that? Or is this just a name and they make something completely different? I have no idea, but this album, uh, I don't see a name on it. Perhaps it is a self-titled album, but it looks like it is a threesome. Uh, the band is a trio. And you have a little bit of a, maybe palm tree on the back. Maybe there's like, maybe it's reggae or dub or dance hall i have no idea but the christians like i said never heard of them but i have <laughs> and then the next album here is the blow monkeys with this handsome fellow on front i believe the ant the name of the album is animal magic doesn't this look kind of like a like that suave kind of look like a not generic look but you know, there's that certain chin suave hair look that you got sometimes. I think this is this is the paper, not the paper boy, the poster boy <laughs> for that. Definitely have never heard of the Blow Monkeys or the Christians. I do have a note here, which of course I always read off camera. But Ed, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Apparently these are two forgotten albums of the 80s. So maybe they will be forgotten no more. My voice is cracking because I just woke up two hours ago <laughs> and I'm still not used to like talking, you know, when I'm recording, I'm talking 
in the mornings and to myself, I'm like, I'm actually still really loud according to my wife. Um, the next package here is sent from SJ. SJ, thank you so much for sending this. Uh, let me give it a little cut here at the top. So yeah, I'm getting the storage cabinet, which will eventually be behind me. So you, you will see it in the videos, probably replacing this black tower I have over here. Um, and eventually, like I said, you got to save for it. Um, I'm going to buy the turntable, which is the LP60, the Audio Techna LP60, one of them. And then uh, I'm going to get the speakers. It's two, I can't remember what they're called. They're two bookshelf uh, speakers, they're called. But it was a brand that one of you had recommended me. So I looked it up and everything, and that's the one I'm going to get. But I don't remember exactly what brand they are <laughs> off the top of my head. So we got a package and a package. So let's open the second package. <laughs> And, ooh, that was perfectly good. Okay, so we have a nice big old book. We got some CDs. Let's pull out the book first. Bill Bruford, I knew the face as soon as I saw him. <laughs> Man, this is a thick book. Bill Bruford, oh, I almost dropped the package. Bill Bruford, the autobiography. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> Bill Bruford, this is, this is a, this is a thick book. You can feel that. Now, if I do remember correctly, I believe Bill Bruford has retired, and I believe he's teaching now. I think so. I've watched um, one or two videos of him teaching uh, in the classes. But man, this is, you know this would be good reading. You absolutely know this would be great reading. I'm just looking through some of the chapters. What's it like working with Robert Fripp? That'd be good, right? Uh, one of the other chapters. What do you mean your spiritual home with a bed of nails? This is going to be insightful. That is awesome. Thank you so much for sending this over. Let me put this right here. And then let's see in the rest of the package here. We also have a note, I believe. Yes. Uh, Sheldon. Sheldon is his name. Thank you so much, Sheldon, for that. Thank you. Thank you. And then we also have some CDs here wrapped in some wonderful bubble tape. Pull that out, get that out the way. <clears throat> the first is Simple Minds, New Gold Dream. So this band is one I've seen pop up recommended every once in a while. I don't believe that I know anything from them. As you can see, my ignorance is boundless. <laughs> it has no boundaries. Simple Minds, now this looks really cool because the artwork kind of looks like, it reminds me of like the Crusades kind of artwork so that's kind of cool and this feels like a kind of heavy cd is this like a deluxe or a double album maybe i'm not sure but simple minds thank you so much for that sheldon and then the set Woo! genesis genesis self-titled album mm. haven't gotten to it yet <laughs> <laughs> haven't listened to this one yet we're working our way through genesis discography um the only songs on here i know are Home by the Sea and Second Home by the Sea. But that is lovely. I'm excited to listen to it. I know not everybody likes certain eras of Genesis, but I'm just here for the journey. And they're one of those bands that I've been quite taken with on the journey. So, Sheldon, thank you so much. I don't know what that was, but Sheldon, <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for this. And then the next package here, no name on the front, so we got to do some digging some hold on it has one of those tear away things but hold on let me do it away from the microphone that's not <clears throat> well this is embarrassing <laughs> the door from the other side <laughs> this is a bigger book <laughs> i can't even tell you which one it is yet but it's a bigger book what in what a new day yesterday uk Progressive Rock and the 1970s by Mike Barnes. You guys can't feel it, but this is a heavy book. This is... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you guys see the thickness of that? That's like half the size of my head, and I got a big head. <laughs> progressive Rock. It's just, it looks like it's just going through the history, perhaps, of Progressive Rock. Let me get a note out here so I can give proper thanks. Uh, they have it folded. Kind of weird. Whoever, whoever at Amazon packaged it, 
Uh, this is by Martin. Martin, thank you so, so much. He says in his note that this will serve as a roadmap. This isn't a roadmap. This is a GPS. <laughs> this is, whoa. <laughs> I just mentioned I'm trying to carve out more time to read. I'm going to have to carve out uh, <laughs> more, more than a slice. I'm going to need a whole pie of time. And you have some really, really nice pictures in here as well. I don't know if you can see that. But, man. That is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so, so much. Woo, this is a, that's a thick book. It's a thick book. Now, I know what it looks like, that this is it. But, um, but it's not. <laughs> so, let's work our way through the second pile. If you've watched this far, thank you. Thank you so much um, for spreading your joy and yourself with me. Uh, this has no name on it. We'll give that a rip. Oh, it opened this way. Okay, well, that's really interesting. There's nothing in this package. <laughs> okay. That is really, really weird. I've never been sent an empty... Empty any... Okay. I'm not, I'm not missing anything. This, this this one's empty. There's nothing in there. I'm, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. I don't know. Maybe it's... Uh... Maybe it's something invisible. Th thank you, whoever sent <laughs> sent the air. Maybe I don't. I don't know. The next package here. Let's just move straight along into it. Let's see. This is Amazon as well, so no name on the front. But I assume there'd be a note somewhere inside, and there are. So we have a couple of CDs here. Um, let's see. I turned it around correctly. The first album, Grobschnitz. Mmm, we had to talk about Grobschnitz. Grobschnitz, can I see the album? I don't see it, but it does say copyright date 2015. I don't see an album name. Maybe it's a self-titled, perhaps? Now, with Grobschnitz, I believe the name of one of their um, albums that you guys have recommended is Rock Pommel's Land. I have it on my list. <laughs> I have it on my list. Uh, as a long song Saturday list, so it's on there. But can I tell you, honestly, my long song Saturday list already stretches to the end of the year and past. Like I'm <laughs> obviously I haven't recorded those, but I'm already like I already have the set songs and plans for it. It is it's crazy. Okay, then we have Eloy with Ocean. Now this album, even though I've never done Eloy on this channel. I've listened to on my own. <laughs> I listened to this on my own a very, very long time ago. Uh, well, maybe not like that long ago, maybe like a few years ago or so. But this is a really fantastic album, especially the uh, first two tracks here, especially the first track. Uh, this is a fantastic one. So seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, did I even mention the name? Did I even say <laughs> this is this is from Patrick? Patrick, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's really lovely of you. That's really thoughtful of all of you. Uh, so yes, at one point we will we will be doing Rock Pommel's Land. And I think that is what it was called. Uh, let's see. Next package. Let's open it up from the top. My wife has gone shopping for groceries. I asked her if she wanted to come with me to Ikea. She said no, she wants to get some work done. So while she's out shopping, I'm going to get some stuff done too. I'm editing over there. I got some videos processing. We got a book here. This is a, these are some heavy books. <laughs> this is a heavy book. The Strawberry Bricks Guide to Progressive Rock. Is this a sequel to A New Day Yesterday? What the heck? <laughs> Third edition. The Definitive Record Guide to the Progressive Era of Rock Music. Comprehensive discography of over 500 albums with band histories and flipping through it. Mm, it's kind of like the other book that we did uh, that I did that little, uh, you know, kind of spin the wheel, stop and then choose the band. It has, yeah, all, a bunch of bands listed here with um, histories. Um, it looks like certain albums. I see Henry Cow, Amon Duel, too. Jethro Tull, Embryo, Asana, Curved Air, 
Steel Eye Span, I'm just flipping through. Bo Hansen, Rare Bird, Guru Guru, AR and Machines, Cluster. A whole lot. A whole lot that I've never heard. So that is wonderful. A nice mix of things that I have heard and haven't heard. I don't see a note in here. I don't see anything. So whoever sent this over, thank you so much. The Strawberry Bricks Guide. Now that's interesting. Is it called the Strawberry Bricks because it's like Strawberry Fields Forever? But also like the bricks, like the yellow brick road, like it's leading you to something? I have no idea. Also, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Why are the cicadas out? Do you guys hear the cicadas? Moving to the next package. <laughs> now they got quiet. Uh, this is sent by Ron. Ron, I appreciate you. Ron, hope you're having a beautiful day today. Hope things are going well. If you're sitting at your chair with some coffee, hope it's a, hope it's a sweet coffee. Or not sweet, if you don't like sweet. So we have a cassette, it seems like, with a note. Now, how interesting. I This is the first cassette I've received here on the channel. And also the first cassette I can honestly say that I've held in over... 20 years probably even more this is marillion real to real i don't even know if you guys can see it hopefully you can see a little bit of that marillion real to real now it looks like this is a it might be an album it might be a live recording i'm not 100 percent sure the copyright date is 1984 and it's a it has two sides assassin Incubus, Cinderella Search, Emerald Lies, and on the other side, Forgotten Sons, Garden Party, and Market Square Heroes. So the question is, what is this? Is this a single? Is this a live recording from a show? But that is so cool. I, I, know, it's, I know it's weird probably to you guys to hear, but it is so interesting to hold a cassette <laughs> in my hand. Uh, Ron, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, he, of course, sent a note over which I mention it all the time, but I really, really enjoy reading the letters and, and different notes. You know, it, it's almost like, there's that cicada again. It's, it's narrowing the gap between viewer and, I don't know, guy on camera. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, I don't know how you guys feel, but like, I'm just a normal guy. I work in a, a, an eight to five, Monday through Friday, and I like to listen to music. Now, that's it. I'm a simple guy. <laughs> no, so I just like reading because at least for me, it narrows the gap. I hope that when I'm in the comments talking to you guys, it helps narrow the gap. You know, I just like to try and narrow the gap. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you sending that over. We have two packages left. I had to make sure there's nothing <laughs> sneaking by. And then I'm going to run off to Ikea. Uh, all right. So there's a warning on the front of this one that says keep away from the heat. Don't worry. It, this is an air-conditioned room, air-conditioned house. If it wasn't, it wouldn't be a great time for me. <laughs> uh, there was no name on the front of it. Uh, so we will find out if there is a note anywhere, anywhere around here. But what are you guys doing this weekend? Are you, do you have any special plans? Are you kind of staying in? Anything going on special in your lives that you want to share with the class? <laughs> Hold on, there we go. I didn't do the other side. Hold on, hold on. Because you don't wanna you don't wanna put too much pressure if the cuts aren't made. Alright, there we go. Alright. So we split that. There we go. Split that. Let's see if we can open it together and make the surprise known to all. There we go. That's a perfect unwrapping. Okay. So we we obviously have a vinyl. I don't know if you guys can tell. Now what is this we have a note too what am i even holding it the right way el shankar shankar touch me there hmm first of all really cool little artwork little pebble beach some violin action i believe now i don't know a lot about mr shankar but i do see on the back that uh it looks like perhaps he's under zappa's record label and I don't know exactly, but is this the same Shankar on Shakti? I honestly don't remember, so don't kill me if it's not. <laughs> but possibly. This is really cool. I've never, I don't know 
what kind of music this will be. Could be jazzy, could be fusiony, could be could be metal. But <laughs> uh, but let me let me see if there's a name here. Uh, I believe that this is from David. It seems so. David, thank you so much for sending this over. We're gonna have some violin action. You know, there's some violin action going on here. <laughs> I don't think there was anything else here. Yeah, that was it on that one. So David, thank you, thank you so, so much. This looks like one of those cool albums. He looks like like a dad. That's a dad look, right? That's a cool dad look though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this here because there's no room on my table. <laughs> and then the final package here for the day, for the evening, for the morning, for whenever you're here. The final package here is from uh, David. Yes, David. So, David, appreciate you. Appreciate every single last and every single first one of you. It's almost like the expression, thanking you from the bottom of my, of my heart. I want to thank you from the top of my heart. The top is going to be the best part of my heart. I promise you. The bottom, it gets darker in there, but the top, that's the good stuff. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and open this together, if we can, if we may. And it's... It looks like it's a book, because I see that it says book on the front. <laughs> and it is Even More Rock Family Trees by Pete Frame. Here's that so you can see it. Hopefully it focuses in. So Even More Rock Family Trees, a brand new book of rock family trees featuring Oasis, Nirvana, Suede, Elton John, Miles Davis, Martin Carthy, and water sins and many more. Now, at first when I opened this, I was like, what, what's a family tree? <laughs> I'm, it's morning, okay, I'm still waking up. But how cool is this? Oh, guys, guys, guys. How absolutely brilliant is this? Showing the connections, the family tree of bands, where they came from, where they're going, how they got to where they're going. And it even opens up. Oh, <laughs> Canadian roots. That is awesome. This is one of those ones you would stare at for a long, long time. This is this is comprehensive. <laughs> and I mean, some of them open up top to bottom, as I suppose you would expect. You can see where it all began and where it all ended. That is a. Um, this is an encyclopedic. Roadmap. Miles Davis live bands, where his live bands went. Oh man, and look at that index. <laughs> David, thank you so, so much for that. This is, this is a family tree. This is a heritage. This is how you follow the heritage of music. Man, there's a lot of bands in here. I'm looking through just kind of like glancing. I don't even recognize half of these artists and half of these bands. But it is always good to see where bands came from, the bands we love, the people we know, where they came from, who was, who were they influenced by? You can find that all out if you're going back and listening. That is really cool. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. All of you. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous, guys. Your, your generosity is getting ridiculous. I seriously appreciate it. The, the books. Oh my God. What am I gonna have the time? <laughs> I gotta carve out a pie of time for these books, the CDs. Hopefully, my goal is I'm getting my storage today. I don't know if it'll be built today, but I'm getting it today. Then eventually, when I save enough, I can get a turntable, get my speakers, and then we'll set up like we'll set that up on the back, and maybe we can actually listen to some of these these albums together. You know. That, that's that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate every single thing that you guys have sent over. Every comment. Just briefly looking at the notes. A lot of you are continuing to encourage me and, and I guess for lack of a better word, give me strength and just thank me. And I don't I don't need the thanks. I thank you. <laughs> this is this is all you. This is not me. Thank you so much for everything that you've ever shared with me. Every little bit of yourselves that, that you've shared with me. Uh, of course, I hope that I can reciprocate that and share more of myself with you. But thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. That cicada really, really needs to go. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.